Welcome back to GB Guns. I am very excited to show you guys an interesting little gun that I've wanted to get my hands on for quite some time. The Czech Small Arms VZ61 Scorpion in 380 and with a brace. Coming up next on GB Guns. So, with the money saved uh, by dropping those Zestavas and picking up the Lynx guns, had some extra money left over, and I've always wanted one of these things. They used to be really, really cheap, and then they disappeared. Now they're back, thanks to Czech Small Arms, an actual Czech manufacturer, not a Zestava clone or knockoff, of the VZ61s from the 60s. These were cool little subguns. Uh, I'll explain more on what they are after showing you what all comes in the box. You get two 20 round magazines. This one's loaded with 20 rounds of Golden Saber just because, well, a lot of people laugh at 380, but uh, it is decent and 20 rounds of it has got to be plenty decent. I don't have any other gun, nor do I know of many other guns, that lets you hold this many rounds of 380. These guns were originally produced in 32 ACP, also known as 765 Browning. But uh, they're now available in that same caliber, 9mm Browning. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, 9mm Makarov and 22 LR. Um, maybe 9mm Browning. Ah, that makes sense. That would be the 380. Durr. Um, the reason why I went with the 380 is, although I lose the coolness of the curved magazines that the originals had. Uh, 380 is more readily available, and I've got plenty of it. I'll show you the manual. Uh, because this is an uncommon gun of a slightly different design, it's important to uh, have a quality manual. I'm not super familiar with these things other than wanting one and then forgetting about them and then getting excited to see them back available again. Uh, this manual has done an excellent job of providing nice, clear, crisp pictures and instructions explaining all kinds of things about the oddities. Like, for example, that grip screw. Why? <laughs> Why be different? Um, so, uh, good manual there. So I've got confidence in that. Let me get this out of the way and we can start taking a look at this actual gun. So these little things were a rather unique submachine gun type thing, somewhere between machine pistol and submachine gun. Uh, like I said, originally chambered in three, 32 ACP, um, meant for tankers, uh, close in that type of operation as a backup gun or a very portable gun. They actually came with a holster. The holster doesn't fit the 380 uh, because of the mag being straight. Uh, and originally had a cool wire stock that had a little hook and sort of gave it that scorpion look, hence the name. You popped it up, it bounced to the back, and then you had yourself a tiny stock. That, of course, would be an SBR in the US, so we've got this with a uh, blade brace on it and this adapter made by Czech Small Arms. That's CSA for Czech Small Arms, not Confederate States of America. We'll show clear, you got to, these little nubs are your charging handles. And although they are tiny and maybe not the easiest to grab onto like you might be used to, that also helps them fit in a holster and keep the whole gun slim. So the original over the top rack, I'll do it underneath so you can see how the bolt opens and closes. And yes, it ejects out the top. So shoots, shoots the shells straight up in the air. We'll see if they land on top of our head or not. And, uh, this is the black magazine, also marked CSA. You can see it's clear. It's a very firm fit. It's got some resistance. Probably gonna take uh, a few cycles to get the, the magazines to fit smoothly, or maybe they just fit that way. I don't know. Like I said, I've, I have very, very little experience with these things. Magazine release is this button here in that classic European retain the magazine style, like an MP5. We Americans, modern gunfighting techniques don't like that because, well, if you're using a hand to pull a mag out, now you've got an empty mag in your hand, but you need your loaded mag. So yeah, it doesn't drop. 
it's something that you pull out. We can see our very simplistic safety here. Zero for zero shots, one for one shot. The trigger is actually kind of nice. So starting at the front, it just kind of squishes through to a break. Reset, I can feel in here, and then it squishes through to a break again. Most sub gun type guns don't have the crispest triggers because they're meant to just kind of pull on release, pull on release, little bursts. So I accept that on this thing. We can see our rather rudimentary front sight post. The rear sight is very optimistically marked at 75 meters and you can flip if it'll rotate, seems a little stiff, but you can flip to 150 meters. Uh, why? I don't know, uh, 380 to 150 meters, let alone 32 ACP, probably not gonna do much more. Um, so, on the other side, we can see that things are pretty simplistic, but nice and clean machining. It's a really pretty gun. And actually made in the Czech Republic, this is not one of the Zestava clones. It's a true Czech gun. We have a threaded barrel which I plan to take full advantage of. Since almost all 380 ammunition is subsonic, that means this gun could be very quiet. What we'll have to see is on a blowback like this, how the extra pressure of that can makes recoil. On uh, some blowback guns, once you uh, throw the can on, recoil gets to be kind of obnoxious. And this being such a small gun, uh, it'll, I'm curious to see how it goes. So to field strip this thing, it's kind of interesting setup. You have this pin here, which you push and pull out. It's retained. Then this top part of the receiver comes forward a little bit. You see it's now come off of where that hole was. And the whole thing rotates up. From here, we have access to our trigger mechanism which looks quite unique. And our bolt. So by bringing the bolt carrier to the rear, we can get, I think it's on the other side maybe. Get this pin out. The pin that is effectively, of course, our charging handle. Come on. It's lifting, but it's not coming all the way out. Of course, these things happen on camera. But anyways, you get the point. That's how theoretically we'd get access to it. We'll have to see if uh, that loosens up with time and comes out a little better. Nice, solid reciprocating mass and uh, these two springs, each on their own guide rod to keep everything centered. But very simple, very classic 60s subgun type. So deal. reassembly of the Scorpion is uh, a little different. Since this is stamped sheet metal, you've got to make sure that these ends end up inside this bracket here. So we bring it down, back, squeeze in on those. And then once it's all the way down, push back on the top so that the holes for this pin line up again, pin back in, and now we're back together. I'm hoping to get a Matador Arms Sidewinder folder on this thing. I think that would make it extra fun. I'd like to find a wooden grip somewhere just uh, you know, for those looks. But neat little toy, range toy, possibly a very practical truck gun defensive tool. I mean, 20 rounds of 380 isn't anything I want to get shot with. I did notice though, um, see this piece comes down here, that's spring loaded. When you put it on safe, not only does it give you the dead trigger, but it also locks the mechanism. Everything is locked up solid. Back on fire, and now we can run the gun. We'll do a what's for dinner with this. I'm really curious to see how it's gonna do with the various hollow points and uh, different types of loads. 
I've seen some reviews of older ones that said they were full metal jacket only, but uh, I obviously want to run all points in this thing. So that is my little Scorpion VZ61 from Czech Small Arms in the Czech Republic and purchased at Atlantic Firearms. Thanks for watching.